Okay, this is your boy Laddie Boy, and I'm back with a new tutorial. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. It's not about the XR18 or reason. I'm actually gonna be um, demoing some products that I just got from Amazon, and here's what I got. I got well, I got the. This is the Akai, I don't know if you can see the sand Akai EWI USB. And I purchased this device to do, um, to record Hanline's live into whether it be Reason or any of the software, but you know, mainly a Reason fan. So, um, what I did, I did some research online concerning this here, and the only connection that the the EWI the Akai EWI USB have was the USB connector here that goes to the computer, and you basically will be running what's called the Garrison software, the software that came with it, that allow you to play um, songs, saxophone songs, trumpet songs, synth songs. But you can use this um, device with any soft synth. You could use it with hardware synth, as you can tell. Uh, I have a Korg X50 here, and I can wear it up through. Um, this device, which is, I don't know if you guys could see, this is called a Weedy Master. It turns your USB connectors on the back of your sent to wireless, the wireless USB. And this works really well with um, the, the keyboard. But what I wanted to do... I wanted to also be able to gig with this device, so I, I got this device here, which is called the USB U host. It's called a host, but it has to be powered by uh, a phone charger, which is a portable phone charger. You can see I have it on all ten here, but this is a portable phone charger that has the power. The, the VD USB host in order to send the signal wirelessly to my computer. In this situation, I'm not even using the computer that I'm doing the video on. I'm using uh, my other Mac computer with running contact software on my screen over here. And to show you that it works, first I'm gonna just play it a little. But um, what I wanted to say is that when I first got this, I got the Witty U host, I got the Witty Master, and I got this little device here, which is called the Witty Bud. I don't know if you guys could see it. Well, the Witty Bud was a disaster. The Witty Bud didn't do what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to use the device wirelessly, but the Witty Bud couldn't handle the speed of MIDI messages that was coming to it. So I reached out to um, one of the guys in the forum there on YouTube, and some of the guys from this company. CME Pro actually messaged me and told me that the Witty Bud was older technology and I needed a Witty Bud Pro. So I got the. Let me, before I tell you about the Witty Bud Pro, with this here, what would happen is that it would choke. As soon as I play the the EWI, all the notes would start to sound out at the same time. And the witty bud couldn't handle the speed that the notes was coming from and all of the, I guess, the different MIDI messages coming from the way you 
blowing to the device and what's not. So I was able to get the Weedy Bud Pro, which is connected to my Mac Mini here, which actually solved the problem. And now I can play. I updated it. I got it. I um, you updated wirelessly using a tablet on my phone. I downloaded the um, software. So I was able to, now I can play, when I'm playing on the stage or anything, I can play live and do not have to physically have my um, Akai connected with a USB cable to the computer. Um, with the USB cable, I never had any problem with it, but I wanted to be able to move around wirelessly so that's why I got the setup so you can see here I have one um, well these are USB-C cables they are foot long and I have a little um, USB adapter on it because I couldn't find the right one I wanted so I had to order this on Amazon so this the output from the USB sorry goes into the witty host and the weedy host output goes into my um, power bank. So the power bank, you have to have a power bank to be able to send power to the, the weedy host. Now with this setup, if you're using it with this and um, with a keyboard, this I think can power your USB really host even once it's connected to the keyboard but my options are that I could use this wirelessly with software like contact or reason or any software or I can use it wirelessly to send MIDI messages to a physical Synth and kicking, let's say, a synth patch or, or horn patch and be able to play live. So, the whole thing about this setup is that I was able to make the device wirelessly and now I can play without having any notes choking anything. So, because I also decided recording. I gig live and I want to be able to go on stage and perform with this and not have a card hanging from it. If you see these lights say blinking, what it's showing you is that this here is synced to my Weedy Bud Pro, which is on my other computer here. It's just out of range of the camera and you can't see it. But the and the Weedy Bud Pro has a similar light flashing. So whenever I blow as you can see you can see that I'm totally wireless now and it actually has a good range of about 25 to 30 to probably up to 40 feet depending on how you, you set up your weedy body where you could see it the connection is really good so I'm not stuck to let's say a short distance from the Weedy Bud Pro where it's connected to the computer to my laptop. It gives me the flexibility that I can move away maybe up to 40 feet away from the device and still be able to transmit MIDI over Bluetooth to my um, computer or to a tablet and it's work really fine. I mean, the, the latency is is so low that you can't really even feel it or hear it. So it's really amazing. So guys, this tutorial today is about turning my Akai EW USB completely wireless and I'm happy with it now. Now that I have the Weedy Bud Pro, I can basically jam it without having to have any connection i wish i could get some shorter cables maybe like these are one foot cables. hopefully if they were six inches 
they say it would look a little bit more but I could just thin it up here and tidy up so hope you guys like this video if you have any questions hit me up peace out bless